Witnesses are now speaking out after Saturday night shooting at orangutans, daiquiris and bar in Gulfport. Brandy McGill takes us back to that night and tells us who risks their own life, taking multiple bullets to save and protect everyone else. And, but every time we come here, it's like not even coming to work. It's kind that of and hanging out with your say. friends. What started as a normal shift for orangutans bartender Janixa Porazario Saturday took a turn that night, all stemming from an argument over a tip. Everything started because this one guy came in, he ordered a Corona from me, paid with a $5 bill, left me the one little dollar. The shooter that was sitting next to him was just kind of like staring at him like, hey, you're going to tip her more than a dollar? And then I was like, hey guys, it's, it's okay, like the dollar's fine, I'm appreciative of the, the dollar. And he was like, no, that's not okay, you see she has a full bar, you deserve more than a dollar. Um, come on, man, give her a few more dollars, give her a few more dollars. And then the guy was like, no, it's all I have. Porizario says security guard LaShawn Moody stepped in to de-escalate the situation, but police say 35-year-old Clarence Thompson III left the bar, went to his vehicle, and came back with a rifle. Yeah, when they shot, you know, um, 30 rounds came into this building. I, you know, tried to duck for cover as much as I could. I really couldn't see if the bullets were coming from behind me or from the side. Lori Moody had just ended her shift as security guard on duty when her husband, Sean, relieved her. Lori says as shots rang out, she was outside frantic and watching it all unfold. When I just started praying and like asking God to shield me and shield everybody, you know, not knowing at that moment that my husband was in intimate danger, and I didn't find out to after the fact that he had actually been hit. Your, your husband obviously can't speak due to contract reasons, right. but just kind of just tell me if you guys have had conversations, him literally having to choose, kind of battling, what do I do? Right? Yeah, back after the guy, he escorted the guy outside, you know, he went to open the door to like peek at me to check and see if I was okay. And that's when he saw the guy coming with the gun. So the way we're embedded in God and he's the head of our life, he knew I was going to be protected. So he had to do in that blink of a moment what he had to do and needed to do. And that being to protect Pizarro and the roughly 20 other people inside the bar, Sean was shot six times and fortunately his injuries weren't life threatening. Will forever owe anything and everything I have to Sean. There could have been no one else that could have done it better, protected us in a better form, just like he did. In Gulfport, Brandy McGill, WLOX News Now. Orangutans will host a benefit for their forever hero, LaShawn Moody, Saturday, November 9th at 11 a.m.